Police front. This looks like yet another perilous predicament. Hey, you're not busy, are you? Did you notice the giant bunny by the house? Uh, what am I saying? Of course you did. You can see the thing from space. Uh, Tony got it for me as a present, and, you know, it's sweet, and I appreciate it, but, well, I just think there's someone out there who'd appreciate it more. I just need a picture to put in the ad I'm taking out, and, oh, you know what? Hulk selfies are getting popular. I bet if he was in the picture, that'd drum up some extra interest in our bunny friend. Before I forget, you might need to reassemble or rearrange some of the parts of the bunny before taking the picture. Tony took it apart to refactor into one of his suits. I'm kind of disappointed he gave up on the idea. Set? Then let's get Hulk and take that picture. <laughs> Great picture! This should generate some good publicity for our big buck tooth friend. <laughs> and the rabbit, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Once more, the world is safe, and the heroes have saved the day. You got a second to rap with me? I gonna do now it was an accident honest I uh, I was just curious about mr. Stark's automated suit operating system and I must have pressed something which activated them all because they all just flew off I managed to track their locations before the feed went dead they're all still on the island somewhere there's one of the suits look out it's hostile Friendly, 
It's not friendly! Got a second to rap with me? I see another suit over there. You know what to do. All right, that's all the suits back in their cases. Get it? Suit? Cases? <laughs> no, just me? Well, this is why I don't superhero. I gotta be honest with you. I knew exactly how that machine worked. One of the perks of having a so-called hyper mind. But I really wanted to see those suits in action. Don't be too mad. One of the suits found this on its little adventure. You should take it. Oh, man. I can't believe someone would do this. Bet whoever hit all my security badges thinks they're a real comedian, don't they? Well, I, for one, don't consider security to be a laughing matter. Plus, those badges are expensive, man. And the website to order replacements is so slow and ugly. And the ads. Ugh, oh, so many ads. <sighs> no, I've got to get those badges back. Can you have a look around? Got a second to rap with me? Check the security camera feeds at the time the badges were... Oh, my babies! You came back! Daddy's gonna dust you off and get you all right back on your own lapel. You just watch. Sorry. Getting a little more emotional than I'd like here. Thank you. You know what? As thanks, if I ever see you walking around here without a badge, I'm just gonna look the other way. And I mean that. 
Do you know what Friday stands for? Fabulous. Really intuitive, darling. Not really. My programming doesn't allow me to lie. I'm just going to find it. Got a second to rap with me? The whole arms dealing business kind of bit me on the behind a bit. But you know what they say? Every cloud has a silver lining. When I rewatched that last presentation I gave, I realized that I am a pretty awesome dancer. So lately, I've been pouring all my energy into dance. Yeah, actually, I just came over to show my old pal Tony some of my moves. You want to see? And hey, maybe even try it yourself. <laughs> Okay, now you're just showing off. This isn't fun for me anymore. I'm kidding. Of course it's fun. So much more fun than prison. Okay, we'll call that a practice round. Give it another try. I think I'd be a great dancer, if I had legs. Maybe I should get Mr. Stark to look into that. That was incredible! That was like a story told in dance. There were happy moments and sad moments and funny moments and moments that sort of skirted the border between sad and funny, as only the best dancers can. Basically, all good stuff. Here, take this.
to wait a moment, I'm afraid. Yes, 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 you can believe your eyes. <laughs> Trevor Slattery in the flesh. <laughs> I've been laying low in the old mansion house ever since what I like to call Mandarin Mania kicked off, and, well, I think there's the slightest, tiniest possibility that Mr Killian might have tracked me down and sent his extremist goons to, well, do that thing they do to people they're not too crazy about. <laughs> You'll do me a solid and take care of them for me. Won't you love? I feel like I say this an awful lot lately, but uh, I don't want to die. I promise you won't tell old Tony about this, won't you? Wait, you're not Tony Stark. No. Oh! Oh! Do you know, I think the coast is clear. <laughs> You're rather good at this kung fu stuff, aren't you? Did you train in stage combat? <laughs> I'm sure the guy who taught me had a few of those moves. Just a um, lot more rubbish looking. Anyway, thanks for keeping me alive a little while longer. Here, I'll swipe this from Starker's trophy cabinet. Take it, in honor of your brain. to advise you not to touch anything or smash anything. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> 